It's basically the yellow soul striker. Joe Crew, it's me, Joku DMD, and I'm here with another deck tutorial playthrough of Golden Frieza. Ah, you can see this is a special Joe Crew edition. So the last video I did, I had to call Dane because it was Dane's list, but this actually also is Dane's deck idea. And since I made the last video, I play built this again the other night, and it's super fun to play. A bunch of people were playing it at Nats. It's a really strong deck. It's basically the yellow soul striker. So I'm gonna get into here and show you guys how to play through the deck. And if you want to join the Joe crew it's really easy you just push the subscription button by the way we're doing a giveaway for three fully constructed decks on my channel and three fully constructed decks on the hermit style youtube channel there is a video announcing that giveaway check it out join up and win yourself some awesome decks you'll also get a chance to be featured on our channels playing the other person that wins the other deck great giveaway series check it out in the giveaway announcement video now let's get into this playthrough. All right. So basically this deck is Frieza's minions. Uh, Frieza's got all these servants and then he just pops them off and he says, you know what? I'm done. You served your purpose. I'm going to pop you and net value back. So the whole purpose of this deck is just blowing up Frieza's army. And there's a bunch of cantrips in the deck. The majority of the deck is cantrips and you want to open into one of those cantrips. The deck has pretty good stopping power towards the end when uh, you start really building a board and you have a lot of value. But basically every card in this deck, its energy cost is minus two, essentially, if you play it right. Because when you pop a Frieza's army on your unawakened side, you get one energy back and draw a card. And when you pop a Frieza's army on your awakened side, you get two energy back and draw a card and you draw when you attack on your awakened side you don't draw when you attack on your unawakened side so basically the way that you go on your awakening turn is you're going to pop two freezes army net back three energy and draw five cards five cards on your awakening turn it's pretty wild so i'm going to show you guys a bit about how to do that one of the places where this deck struggles is self-awakening so we run a card in here that's for self-awakening but we're just going to get it going here we got our six cards and we want to keep one drops. These cards are extremely important. I'd say this is one of the better ones. And then you want to keep an extra card also because you want to turn on your repost and your other Frieza, uh, your repost and your steadfast Gokus. And in order to do that, you want to have extra cards in your energy and drop area. So once you have one, once you have a total of two extra cards between your energy and drop area, your Frieza's army robotic or your Mecha Frieza robotic repost is going to cost one, and your steadfast Gokus are going to cost one. And they are both very strong yellow counter attacks and counter plays, so they really help you live to the long game, which is where this deck really thrives. So we got three more cards here. Excellent, probably some of the best cards we can see. And you wanna make sure in your opening hand that you have a Frieza's army card. So we're gonna put our life there and then we'll roll some dice. So we're gonna roll first for ourselves and we get an eight and our opponent gets a six. So we're gonna be going first. So this deck's pretty funny. Uh, the way that it works basically is you wanna put something in your energy. I like charging Vegeta's final flash if I have it because this card is gorgeous. And then you get to look at it the whole game because it looks so dang good. So you charge that right there. And then you're gonna play a Frieza's army. So this one we're gonna play is Ginyu, former Galactic Elite. All that's important is this auto. When you play this card, draw a card. All the other words on there don't matter for this deck. So we draw a card and then we use Freeze's effect. We KO a Freeze's army, draw a card and turn an energy back. And since we don't have another Freeze's army here, we're just gonna pass turn and let our opponent go. But it's also okay because we have this power of the Super Saiyan, which is gonna set up our repost. So our opponent's gonna go, they're going to maybe attack us. When they attack, we're gonna use power of the Super Saiyan to rest something if there's a target and draw off that. And then we're gonna take that hit into our hand. Uh, so we'll be here at uh, seven life. You want to go down in life to four in this deck because the deck can awaken at four and you're kind of stuck if you don't awaken before that. So at this point, I think a good charge here would probably be this Frieza's army reinforcement. Also, since we're not showing all that much defense, I'm just going to charge the more of the defensive cards. And since we don't have a Frieza's army in hand, what we can do is we can play Frieza's call. Frieza's call allows us to go through our deck and play a Frieza's army in rest mode. So we're going to go through our deck, look through here 
here and grab a Frieza's army. When we do this, we also get to look and see if our secret rare is in our deck or if it's gonna be in our life. And we'll just grab a Togoma and play a Togoma in rest mode. Then we're gonna shuffle our deck. All our Frieza's army are stacked together, so we wanna make sure we shuffle them up nicely so we see more of them because it's very important to see your Frieza's army cards. When Togoma gets played, he draws a card. So he's gonna draw us one card and there's another Frieza's call, that's great. So then what we'll do here is we will KO Togoma, untap an energy and draw a card. And then we can play, uh, say we'll play a, another Frieza's call. And when we play this Frieza's call, we're gonna go into our deck and find Let's say we grab a sorbet. He's going to look through the top five, I believe it is. Uh, yep, top five, and he grabs a Freeze's army with an energy cost of three or less. So let's search our top five here. One, two, three, four, five, and we can grab a Ginyu Former Galactic Elite, which is great because that'll help us set up for the next turn. And then we will pass turn, and when we pass turn, it's likely that our opponent is going to swing into our leader. So when they swing into our leader, we can attack with Freeze's, uh, the Robotic Riposte. Robotic Riposte is an interesting counter. Basically, the way that it works is when this card, when you use this card to counter, uh, your opponent can only attack with non-unison cards unless they choose one of their cards and switch it to rest mode. Since this is in rest mode, they're probably gonna try and kill this card. So we'll imagine that they just kill this card and then they maybe they deal a damage to us. So we'll take that damage. And we're gonna draw for our turn. And this turn, we're gonna try to awaken here. So let's charge a... Uh, we'll say we're gonna just charge Bergamo, even though you would never really wanna charge this card, but we don't have our opponent on the other side. We're just interacting with ourselves, so it probably won't get used. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here, just to get some values, I'm gonna pay one for Ginyu, former Galactic Elite. And when I pay one for Ginyu, he's gonna allow me to draw a card, and then I'm gonna pop Ginyu, and I'm gonna turn an energy back, and I'm gonna draw a card. And then we wanna play Roshi. So Roshi, when you pay one for him, he allows you to take a life. So if our opponent isn't dealing damage, you can take a life with him. And the other thing you can do is you can actually pay one energy to take another life. But we're not gonna do that because on the next turn, we're gonna simulate taking a life from our opponent's damage. And the next thing we can do is we're just gonna play one repose next turn. We're gonna save our other repose. So we only need one energy for defense. So I'm gonna pay one more energy and play another Togoma, which just draws you a card. That's all that's important about that. Now it's our opponent's turn. So let's say that they attack us. We can pay one to counter attack with Robotic Riposte. And then if they try and attack for a double strike, we'll say we'll use a Freeze's Army Reinforcement by taking a life that negates the attack and we create a token that has blocker for the turn. So now we have a blocker token on our field. At that point, our opponent is probably going to pass, let's say, um, and then our turn, we're gonna draw a card, turn our energy back, we'll charge the Trunks units, and this is really situational depending on what your opponent's board is like, but since we have four energy here, we can pay four energy for Mechicabra, and when you play him, he's gonna come out with four markers on him. You can choose one of your opponent's cards in rest mode and freeze it for the turn by adding one marker to him and drawing a card. And then we can choose our Togoma, pop it. And when we pop Togoma, we untap an energy and draw a card. Then since we're at four life, we can awaken, which allows us to draw two more cards. And then we can attack with a, free, uh, with a robotic riposte. They'll do something to deal with that robotic riposte attack. And then we can pop robotic riposte, untap two energy and draw another card. And then we can attack with our leader and draw another card. So just in that turn, we just drew five cards. And if you really wanted to go for game here, you could probably Dragon Fist and put a lot of pressure on, but we have a lot of defensive cards and we'd probably be fine to live through the next turn. For passing turn, we really don't need that much energy for our defensive step. I'm gonna play Togoma for one. And when I play Togoma, I draw. And then we got our secret rare. Uh, now it's our opponent's turn. So we're gonna pass turn, or we could probably swing with this Robotic Repose just to add more pressure. And then if we pass turn, it's gonna be their turn. They're gonna swing in with something. The first thing you wanna do is negate with Robotic Repost. 
because once you negate with robotic repost, then they're gonna have to deal with stuff. And we'll say that one of their cards is sideways now. After that card is sideways, if they swing with another card, or if they say they play a card and they swing with another card, you can block with Mechacabra. And when Mechacabra blocks, when he loses a marker, you get to choose one of their cards and switch it to rest mode. So you could choose an energy, you could choose their leader, you could choose anything, it doesn't matter. But And then they choose to play uh, some other card. We can counterattack with our Super 17 Sibling Absorbed. And when we counterattack with Super 17 Sibling Absorbed, what he does is he negates the skills of the card that's being played. And you choose one card in rest mode, ignoring barrier and place it under this card. So if they have some card that's annoying to deal with that has barrier, 17 just absorbs that card. And it's only one energy. So basically once you have, or once your opponent has more than three energy, this becomes a one cost card and it has critical and deflect. And what's crazy about this card is you can also play this card on offense for one energy. So if you just needed a 40K crit beat stick, you could play this for one energy on your turn. But we're gonna say that somehow they swing into our leader and we need to combo off here. So we'll combo off this Roshi just to clean up our board a little bit there. At this point, they're probably not gonna have too much else to do. So we'll pass turn, we'll draw a card, turn our energy back. And let's say they got rid of this Togoma. They were smart and they, and they uh, let's say they cleared these two cards, which maybe they had a Gohan Piccolo or something like that and got rid of those cards. Now we're gonna choose another card to put in our energy. We're gonna plan on winning this turn. So I'm gonna charge a Frieza's Army reinforcement. And when you charge this card, what you can do is you can choose one of your opponent's cards that's in rest mode, plus one, and freeze that card and draw a card, it's a battle card. Uh, and then what we can do is we can play this card for five energy. And when we play that card for five energy, for the duration of the, of the game, while this is on board, this card is like really crazy. It has deflect, double strike, and blocker, so they can't counterplay it. And it says this card can't be removed from your battle area by your opponent's skills. It also says, if your leader card is yellow, when this card is played, choose all of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, KO them, and then flip one card in your life face down at the end of the turn, switch this card to active. So you get to KO all your opponent's cards and you can swing with this guy and he untaps. He also says auto once per turn when your opponent activates a counter attack, choose up to two of their cards, switch them to rest mode, and they can't be switched to active mode until the end of your opponent's next turn. So if your opponent counters, this guy just kind of shuts down their entire turn. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just swing with our leader to draw, draw a card. And then since we have a Frieza's army in play, we can free play this Tagoma. He says permanent, if it freezes army or sorbets in your battle area, you can play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. So he gets us a free play and then we can pop him, draw a card and untap two energy, which sets us up for our defensive turn here. Uh, then we can swing with sibling absorb. That's a 40K crit that they're gonna need to deal with. And then we can swing with Frieza. That's a 25 double strike that they're gonna need to deal with. At the end of our turn, he will untap and we'll pass turn to them. On their turn, they'll probably swing with something and we can uh, choose Mechacabra to block. And when he loses a marker, we can freeze something again. When they swing again, we can choose something and power the Super Saiyan, switch it to rest mode, draw a card. I don't know, maybe take a damage and then block one. Uh, they did deal one more damage, sure. Now we're gonna go for our turn. So we'll draw a card, switch our cards back to active mode and choose a card in our hand and put in our energy. We are not gonna use another Master Roshi. So at this point, there's a lot that we can do. I would say first um, thing you wanna do is plus one on your unison draw card. And then this card is really, really good. Son Goku, Return of the Dragon Fist. So we can pay three energy to play Son Goku, Return of the Dragon Fist. When he gets played, we get to choose two of our opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO them. And then we can spirit boost to minus two on here. And when we spirit boost, he gains dual attack. So it's good to swing with him first because if they have any battle card floodgates or any battle cards that have effects, they're basically not gonna do anything unless there's more than seven energy. So he's a really good thing to swing with um, and probably wanna throw a super combo on him and when we combo with that super combo, we can bottom deck. Well, we're not gonna play this now. Had we just had paid our six energy, we could have overwhelmed him. He probably would have won us the game also, but there's answers to him. Uh, draw two cards and then let's say 
that's it 35 double strike they're gonna have to deal with that he stands back up and we can swing again with him when we swing again we'll just do the same thing to super combo to make it another 35k double strike that they're gonna have to deal with we can bottom deck something that we're not going to use so we'll bottom deck this sorbet and draw two and if that wasn't enough for them then we can pay three more energy to play another dragon fist and he's going to be double strike as well we can spirit boost before uh, and if there are things in rest mode he can ko them we'll spirit boost two with him so you can this isn't a limit one, it's a once per turn, so you can actually do it on two copies of the card. You can swing with him, we'll throw another one on there just to be difficult here. Super combo of that, and then we'll say we'll bottom deck this poutine because we're not resting anything here right now. And then draw two. And, ooh, actually we shouldn't have bottom decked that poutine. We'll bottom deck this, uh, bottom deck this Frieza. Because what we can do after that, say they live through that somehow, we can free play Togoma again. Free play Togoma, use our leader effect to pop Togoma, untap two energy, and draw a card. And then we can swing with our leader, draw for that attack. And then if they're at two life, let's say we swing with Super 17. When we swing with Super 17, we can power the Super Sand to rest something, which allows us to play Poutine. Uh, we also draw off the power of the Super Saiyan, and then here we'd probably just combo our hand. So he's at 40, so we'd make it 40 double strike, and then we can go to 50, 60, draw two, uh, 70, 80, and then we can final flash make it 95 double strike and if they somehow got out of that we still have this double strike here 25 double strike and if they get out of that then we can overwhelm for secret identity clear their board and swing with secret identity swing with frieza and swing with meki and that's pretty much it so this deck has a lot of stopping power i think this card is nasty this is the holy hexagon scr you can see all the hexagons in there i love it i think this card's amazing the deck's really fun the thing that hurts it is if your opponent's able to get rid of your freezes army on their turn and then you don't have your freezes army set up for the next turn that kind of hurts but repost helps you set up um so repost basically nets you value defensively because he's untapping energy and drawing cards for you and that was turn six just to show how much we can draw i think this card is this deck is 56 cards and we have one two three four five six seven cards left in deck so you can play a pretty big thick deck because you play so many cantrips and the cantrips just draw you cards and net you value and help you see a lot of your deck anyway that was the deck playthrough i hope you guys enjoyed this i think golden freeze is crazy this is a leader from set one also which is wild shout out to dane for putting me on this and beating my butt with it on webcam regionals and a bunch of people on crossroads were playing this marcus Cantarsi got this to top 16 at nationals so it's definitely a strong deck it does have its downfalls but i think it's a very fun deck to play it's basically like a yellow soul striker and yellow has a great toolkit I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. You don't want to freeze your teeth. You don't want to chew ice. Chewing ice is a bad idea because ice is very cold and it can cause micro fractures in your enamel, which over time will turn into craze lines and those craze lines can turn into bigger fracture lines. Avoiding vast temperature changes with your teeth is a good thing because it'll help them stay healthier for a longer period of time. Going from really cold to really fast, it's like if you put a crystal in water or a crystal in hot water or cold water, it'll cause that crystal to crack because your tooth, your enamel is a crystalline structure and it absolutely can crack in a, with a vast changes in temperature. So avoid, you know, like having coffee and then eating ice cream right after. Do them kind of separate and chewing ice is a bad idea. I'm, I'm Joku DMD, DMD and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget about the giveaway. Trip him is king. Trip him. Hide the mastery. SP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that it's, all seven? Did we pull all seven? Yeah, there's this one here too. That's a pretty decent amount. Like, those are decent SRs to get, though. These are definitely from a case where somebody pulled all the SPRs and then <laughs> sold me the boxes. And that's what it wasn't like one SPR per box, right? Yeah, yeah, it was four per case. Yo! Yes! It's the first secret I ever pulled from this game, and I didn't know it was a secret. I just thought, well, this is 
a shiny good looking card. Wow, that's got really nice centering. Has so much value. Yeah. I think we got. I think we're sitting on a BGS Black Label 10 here, gang. Holy hexagon, secret rare from not even from the Blossom, and uh, that's how you. That's how you strip them. 606. This box is insane, man. This is a value box. This box, you got great SRs and a, and a secret. <laughs> nice. Is that the last pack? No, there's one more pack. Bro.